In 1951, a black woman's cells were stolen. Her name was Henrietta Lack. What doctors found changed medicine forever, but she never gave consent. Henrietta was a poor African-American mother of five, treated at Johns Hopkins Hospital for cervical cancer. Doctors secretly took samples of her tumor. In the lab, something extraordinary happened. Her cells didn't die. They kept dividing endlessly. Scientists called them hella cells, the world's first immortal human cell line. Soon, they were everywhere. Used to develop the polio vaccine to study cancer HIV, gene mapping, even space research. Billions of dollars were made, but Henrietta's family never saw a cent. They didn't even know her cells had been taken. For decades, her name was erased. Only in the 1970s did her children learn the truth. When researchers came asking for their DNA, the outrage grew. How could the most important cells in medical history come from exploitation? In 2013, after years of pressure, the U.S. government finally gave her family some control over her genetic data. In 2021, Johns Hopkins formally acknowledged her contribution and the injustice. But the question remains, was it a breakthrough or a theft that changed medicine forever? What do you think? Justice for Henrietta or a debt that can never be repaid? Share your thoughts below and subscribe to Medical Crime Files for more hidden stories where medicine and crime collide.